Hello, my name is Dr. Cheryl Burdett, and I would like to share with you some of the meaning of complement on the Precision 88 food test. And so one of the unique points about the Precision 88 is the use of complement. And complement represents a larger category of, uh, of an inflammatory mediators, a piece that upregulates inflammation, starts as a larger molecule, gets broken down into C5, C4, eventually C3, and there can be various pieces of that C3A, B, and D. The one that we look at specifically is C3D, a downstream byproduct when complement has become highly activated. Complement binds to IgG and even IgE, and when it is, it is present, it will amplify this reaction. The research around complement comes to us from a background in terms of polio research. And what researchers found with polio is that it was not the people with the highest titer to polio that had the most symptoms, but it was the people, the patients that had both IgG as well as complement present. This is when the symptoms were most severe. So that research was continued in the direction of foods and immune confusion towards foods, and the same pattern was found. We've all witnessed this in our patients patients where we've seen that they have elevations, for example, in IgG, but the highest one is not the one that elicits the largest symptom, more the one that is moderate might cause the headache or the joint pain. And when we drill down further, we learn that, of course, this makes sense because a moderate reaction of IgG with complement present can be far more inflammatory than just IgG itself. In fact, the research says that together, the combination can be a thousand to 10,000 fold more reactive. And this is why it's important to look at both together. We're the only food test that looks at IgG and complement separately. There are some examples that look at these as one reaction. However, when you do that, you can't tease out which is which or whether or not both are reacting at the same time to create the most inflammation. Also, another reason for wanting to measure complements separately and in a distinct way in its own category is because if we see lots of complement but no IgG, we're less concerned about the actual inflammatory reaction to food because remember, you need both to really activate that. However, we would want to do things to down-regulate the complement cascade, such as curcuminoids from turmeric or immunoglobulins from sources like egg or colostrum. Complement is an amplifier, particularly of your food sensitivities, and it helps us to understand why it's not always the highest titer that results in the largest symptom. Just like many parts of the, our body and just like many immune reactions, there's not one way we react to a food. Uh, there's not one way we react to an infection. With all of the above, there are multiple immune reactions. And so when we see both a reaction in terms of IgG as well as complement, we know that this is going to be our largest offender and these are the foods that we become even more concerned with. We will take them out of the patient's diet. In addition to that, like I mentioned, we may add other adjunct therapies such as curcuminoids to downregulate this overall inflammatory reaction looking at these immune reactions and making sure to capture all of them, but separately so we can really see what's going on in the body helps us to make the most specific clinical decision uh, for that patient, helping them to feel better the fastest.